How long do you think this is gonna take?
after that, all we have to do is call him with Gallarhorn when we're ready. Let's head back to Moose Farm. We can take the Mystic Gateway back from there. It worked. I can't believe it. We got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. I mean, the Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. <laughs> Think about it. We're gonna show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win. Bro was right. Groa failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. Ragnarok's strength grows. Hey, check out that cliff. Earthquick must have shook this place up enough to make a ledge. Up this way, Father. We can climb back towards the gate. So, you fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. fall apart if those keep happening. Gonna stop attacking anytime soon. We need to get back.
quiet. I mean, you're always quiet, but this feels different. I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped to never see my son go to war. doing the right thing. Ragnarok has to happen. The price we and others paid for this war is high. It'll be worth it. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, father. Is there anything you want to finish up? This is it then, the beginning of the end. The end for Odin, and after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know, I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to, after everything they've been through. They have to, don't they? Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still Me can. Me and the others are still making preparations for the attack. So there's time. Time to cleave some heads. Now those are some angry knives. Ought to make Odin's spear look like a toothpick. Let's make some magic. It fits. Why 
on top first, Bell? Hey, y'all. Uh, I just wanted you to know if you need anything at all, I'll be around. Either here or at Brock and Citrus old shops. Yeah, I know we're all busted up inside today, but, you know, I for one would like to keep busy. <gasps> like things went well enough in Muspelheim. I mean, probably. Surtur didn't want some more involved. So instead of them combining to form the Ragnarok Beast, we did a work around that left her out of it. Well, hopefully he still shows up at Ragnarok to plunge his sword into the heart of Asgard. And where is that exactly? Only Surtur knows. Okay, ready when you are. gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow, the Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The Elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hell's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Secret. It's good to see you so... alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, come here. Please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just sleep on it. Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide.
Excuse me. May I have a moment with Namir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more, except perhaps a dance. Yet do I may have lost a step? <laughs> do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you. Can I sleep here tonight? story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. wood for his village. Every evening he wore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight.
He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Does my request upset you? is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. Mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet. I have nothing to say. No. Say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? Mm. In my land, we entomb our loved ones. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. <laughs> you once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. You prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me, whenever that day comes, for you and for our son. <sighs> we will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. When you are gone, that part of me dies as well. You feel your absence. No. Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. is to have loved fully. Open your heart 
to the world as you have opened it to me, and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. One more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. Big softy, you can thank me after, uh, if, uh, if we all come through the other end. I will. Show it all. Better get that armor nice and bloody. Good luck out there, General. I believe in you. 